welcome to my studio. I'm Amy Nicole and today I am super excited to show you my Thayer jacket from Grainline Studio. This jacket, this project has been an interesting process for me because it was more of a need than a want to make. Um, I needed a jacket for work. I, me and my husband own a barbecue restaurant in town. Um, I don't typically wear anything that I make there because it's just messy and everything gets smoky and gross. Um, we're also uh, currently rehabbing an old farmhouse on about eight acres so we're going to be doing lots of outside work there and I needed a work jacket like I wanted a sturdy durable workwear style jacket and that wasn't something that I was particularly excited to make um, and I almost actually didn't make it I almost was like you know what I'm just gonna go to the thrift store and see what I can find because this is just gonna get beat up and um, I didn't want to I knew it would be kind of an involved project and I didn't want to spend the time on something that I wasn't gonna wear like to be cute you know so I but I went ahead and made it because um, my friend that I have my friend Melissa that I do sewing club with was also really excited about this pattern um, I was excited about this pattern when it came out I was like that is exactly what I'm looking for that is what I need so Grain Light Studio came out with this great powder and my friend Melissa was excited about making it as well so we decided to make them together and I was like you know what I'm just gonna make it I'll be happy that I did because I wanted to make something that was sort of multi-seasonal um, this jacket uh, is drafted to have a really warm like shearling lining but I wanted to do a lining that was removable so a little more on that in a second that is definitely one of my favorite details um, first let's just talk about the pattern in general this fabric this was a year of slow sewing make so this denim ticking was in my stash we actually got a huge roll of it from an estate sale um, and I decided to play around with the direction of the stripes which I'm super happy with the way it turned out and the flannel from the lining is a nice thick flannel that came that I refashioned from a vintage button-down shirt that I got at an estate sale also I think um, so I it was so warm and I was actually wearing that flannel as my jacket for the longest time so I knew I wanted to use that as the lining and I was debating on whether or not to use the flannel or the denim for the collar. I had actually decided to do the denim. I was kind of leaning towards the flannel and then my husband was like, no, do the denim. So I decided to do the denim and I was gonna do the flannel for the under collar as like a little pop of surprise. And then I did what I always do, which is I sewed the collar on upside down <laughs> accidentally. And I noticed it right away the first time I sewed, like the first stitch before I closed everything up. But when I tried it on, I was like, no, I really like the flan the pop of the flannel on the collar. So I left the flannel on the collar. It's also really cozy and warm, like when it's windy and I pop my collar and I have that warm flannel up against my neck, which is awesome. Um, the back is pretty simple. I love the boxy, like very subtle swing shape to this pattern. I also played with the stripe direction on the back. Um, I do, this pattern has a lot of really great top stitching details. I toyed around with doing mine in red, but the stripes are so busy that I just decided to stick with navy so you can't really see a lot of my top stitching details which in construction was kind of a blessing because I didn't have to worry about them being perfect so now let's talk about this lining I if you're interested let me know in the comments below I 
sort of videoed um, my progress for drafting the lining to be reversible. I mean, not reversible, removable. So if you're interested in seeing that, please let me know. Um, in the comments, I will make a tutorial for how I executed this. But basically, let me just turn this inside out so you guys can see. So basically, the original pattern has the lining is a whole piece and it meets directly with the self so that whenever you have your collar flipped at the top, you can see the lining on the inside and you have that contrast of the lining in the collar as well. So what I had to do to make this lining removable, I knew it was going to be a zipper, so I needed a place for the zipper to connect. It wouldn't have made sense to do it along the actual seam line, so I drafted a facing that goes all the way around. And I did that. I didn't have enough of the facing to do, enough of the flannel to do that in the facing, so I did this with some leftover denim uh, from that we also I had in my stash that we got also got from an estate sale we have some good luck with estate sales around here really thick heavy-duty denim I made my husband a pair of jeans out of this denim and I drafted that as the facing I also used it as the under collar which was originally supposed to be the top collar ended up being the under collar um, I love the extra like contrast it adds and another note is I didn't have enough of the flannel to do the sleeves so this is just a twill you <laughs> I think it's the same <laughs> I think it's the same fabric left over from these pants that I'm wearing right now oddly enough <laughs> these Chai Town chinos it is a tinsel twill Super soft, a lot less frictiony than flannel would be for the sleeves, which actually works out perfect. Um, something fun that I did is I left the pocket of the original shirt in the lining, so I have like a little inside pocket, which I thought was a really fun detail. And so I drafted the facing and then I sewed the other half. Of course, you have to remove the facing that you draft off of the other lining piece. And this, all this lining was sewn just like normal. Again, I'll go into more detail of this in my tutorial video. Um, and then, of course, instead of sewing the hems together, you have to sew them separately. And then I just had to find a really long zipper, which I believe I ordered from the Zipper Shipper. They have these things, they have zippers that are called lining zippers. So that worked out perfect. It's a separating zipper, and it just goes all the way around this seam line that connects the facing to the lining. And then the lining can just pull away, and I can have a nice lighter weight denim jacket to wear in the spring uh, or early fall whenever it's not quite so cold. Um, I did decide, which I'm so glad I did because it's so cozy, I was a little nervous that it would like wouldn't all fit in the jacket with so many layers, but I did decide to add batting to the lining. So in between here there's a layer of the flannel and then a layer of batting, and then it's backed with muslin. So this is a super thick, toasty, warm jacket, and it actually does fit <laughs> fine, comfortably into the sleeves and everything. It works out great. I This is one of those projects that I went into it, I knew I wanted to do the removable lining, um, I knew that the jacket itself was just kind of not like a big undertaking, but it was a little, oh, yeah, kind of a big undertaking, including adding the removable lining. And I was nervous. I was afraid that this zipper going around all these curves wasn't going to work. I was afraid that it was going to take me 1,500 tries to actually have everything line up correctly with the zipper and it would just be like kind of off. Um, a lot of concerns. Y'all, I whipped this zipper out 
first try, I only had to take out one section and redo it because something wasn't lining up. Not even the whole thing, only on one side. And I could not be, like, this is one of those projects I am so stinking proud of myself. Look how nice this looks on the inside. It looks like a workwear jacket that you would buy at a workwear jacket store. <laughs> And the outside looks nice. I love the way the contrasting stripes look. I am just so pleased with how it turned out. And I'm so glad that I went forward and still made this jacket because it is just, I will get so much use out of it, both going to and from work and working around our farmhouse. And it's just, it's the perfect length. I didn't have to make any fit adjustments. I am so pumped about this make. And it's I like amazing at how much I wasn't really excited about starting it in the first place. So let this be a lesson. Push yourself, even if it's like something you're not necessarily excited about, if you know you need it and you'll get a lot of use out of it, you will be so proud of yourself when it's done and every day you get to wear it, you're like, man, I love this thing, this jacket. So great. If you have any specific questions about how the removable lining works, please let me know in the comments below so that I can address them in my tutorial that I'm going to make for y'all. Thank you so much for joining me here in the studio. Y'all, this is just, I am so pumped about this make. Let's dance about it. See my hips, big hips, so chop. See my butts and my lips, don't chop.